Most people are not ready to hear what needs to be said about takeoff. What's up, guys? This is Omar with No Nonsense Music Marketing, the number one place for music business and industry advice online. If you are a serious musician, hit that subscribe button. But some of you watching this video today may not be serious musicians. You might just be a music fan, music listener. You might be somebody who saw this headline and liked the Migos music, like Takeoff's music, so on and so forth. However, the one thing I want to point out uh, I actually have a lot of things to point out, but uh, first of all, let's just say uh, this is a loss of life that did not need to happen. Um, you know, we mourn for the family. This is a human life, regardless of any lifestyle that this person was living. This is a human life that was sacred. Human life is sacred, and it was a tragedy that it was lost, especially in the way that it was lost. So if you're not familiar with the story or the group, the Migos is a rap group, a very popular rap group uh, that uh, has several albums, uh, you know, billions of streams worldwide on all their content. And last week, uh, in case you have not heard, one of their members, they have three members, um, one of their members, whose name is Takeoff, his pseudonym Takeoff, was shot in Houston over, uh, reportedly over a dice game. There was a dice game that went went bad, and there was arguments. Uh, this was very early in the morning, you know, past midnight, uh, at a bowling alley, reportedly, and some, something went bad. There was an argument, and then shots rang out. And unfortunately, young man takeoff was killed uh, after this altercation. Now, again, always sad when a person like loses their life, especially like this. Um, I want to call attention to a couple things. There's a statement that came out from his label. Um, it says, it is with broken hearts and deep sadness that we mourn the loss of our beloved brother, uh, Krishnek Kari Ball. Known to the world as Takeoff, the label said in a statement on Instagram, senseless violence and a stray bullet has taken another life from this world and we are devastated. Please respect his family and friends as we continue to process this monumental loss. If you wanted to respect his family and friends, you wouldn't have put out the music that you put out under your label. You would have guided this young man Somebody, there, there should have been one person. There was nobody at this label. There's none of his friends, nobody in his circle. I, I just don't believe that. I don't believe that there was nobody at this label that saw the lyrics that were coming across. We'll read some of them in a second. This is just from one song. There's there's dozens and dozens of songs with lyrics like this. Uh, there's There was nobody that spoke up during... All the years he's making music and saying, hey, this is not a good idea. Like we're, we're making music that says all these things over here. And at the same time, we're, if something happens to you, then we're going to write some statement like this. Some drawn up statement from a lawyer like this. And then simultaneously, the same people marching in the streets, talking about Black Lives Matter and all this stuff. I, it's just, no, it doesn't add up. Let's go to the lyrics. Just in case you don't believe me or you think, oh, Mari's Hayden. He's just, you know, one of those people saying this. No, I've been saying this for years. I've done too many videos like this, uh, which is why I'm just going to be more forthright and say that if you're listening to music like this, uh, just just consuming the content, not only do you need to think about it, you're a hypocrite. Like, just stop posting about this is so sad when you were the one funding it. So the listener, no, you're not as bad as the guy who shot him. But you're not contributing to anything good here. Let's just look at it. This is from Hotel Lobby. This is off his latest album. Um, it's Quavo and Takeoff song. So I, I'm not going to read all these lyrics because I can't read them on this show. However, um, let me see. Line here, pass pass me that stick. N word, make one wrong move, just pop them. Blame it on bro with a hoe flooded out in the hotel lobby. Two lines right there, back to back. Okay, so this first line 
pass me that stick, pass me the gun. Uh, N-word make one wrong move, talking about another black man. Just pop him. Just shoot him. That's it. Make one wrong move. Just shoot you. And we're talking about senseless violence. You know, we're so sad about the senseless violence, which we are. Like the people who are saying the message that I'm saying, we are actually sad about the senseless violence. And we're saying don't contribute to it. Like it's one thing if you're doing a war movie and not not that all wars are not, you know, some some wars are senseless violence. Some are righteous and some are not. Um, we're saying inward make one wrong move just pop. Just like, no, there should not be a flippant attitude about any any sort of war. A street war, a war between nations, it should not be a flippant attitude about it. So even if you're taking that the most charitable way, trying to interpret that the most charitable way, it just doesn't pass the bar. This is not good to be putting out in your music and to be supporting it. The next line, calling women hoes and you know, flooded out in the hotel lobby. Blame, blame it on bro with a hoe, flooded out in the hotel lobby. Uh, Next line, two lines down, don't touch it, this Glock, it'd be cocky, uh, meaning trigger happy. So so we're talking about being trigger happy. We're talking about trigger happy in two lines, and then we're going to be sad. We're going to be sad. This is in, Stop making the excuse of, oh, these people just lived in this environment, uh, and they're just talking about it. No, this is promoting it. You're not just talking about it. If you were talking about how people were trigger happy in your neighborhood, then you would state it. You were, people are, were trigger happy and this is a bad thing. Don't go down that path. Don't do this. Don't do that. Versus you fell victim to that path. So if you want to talk about all this other stuff, all this Black Lives Matter, and um, you know this is senseless violence, we're so sad about this, then change what you're doing. Change what you're consuming. We, as a company, not say that we do every single thing right, but one thing that we don't do is we definitely do not support music like this. We don't take money from people. We're a promotion agency. We're a music marketing agency. It's our job to promote music. We lose money every single day that we don't promote music like this because there's record labels uh, who will gladly fund the murder of black men, the murder of men in general, uh, or or people in general, but specifically a lot of the stuff that they're pushing uh, leads to more deaths for black men. And then they just put out a statement and people just forget about it and they just go bump this music. They play this music, act like everything's good. Um, but, you know, if there's a police skirmish, then they're back in the streets because it was a white guy who shot a black guy versus a black guy who shot a black guy. Nothing's changed. Nothing. I, I don't want to be pessimistic. But realistically, every time something like this happens, nothing does change. Like nobody's holding these record labels to account. They talk about holding celebrities to account. No, we're not canceling people. We're just holding them to account. Uh, if there's one group that should be held to account, it needs to be these record labels. These people who are pushing this is the rappers uh, who are pushing this are not immune either. Like you're still rapping about it, but at least the message wouldn't get out as much without the marketing dollars behind it. Like you think music just, oh, they're they're funding it because that's what people want to hear. No, I believe it's the other way around. They started this. Uh, they found some people who were in certain areas and actually believed this stuff and got it in their brain. And instead of showing them a better path, we fueled bad things. We fueled the fire. Um, in fact, there was in a documentary, um, the, the partner to Dr. Dre, uh, was it Jimmy Iovine was talking about, was he funding Hamas? Was he funding, you know, just mass killings of one group funding genocide, essentially? Um, that answer would be yes. Yes, he was, he was funding it. Uh, so yes, you can, two things can be true at the same time is are people free to make art uh, and have art be somewhat edgy yeah you are but also if it's just outright garbage don't don't try to play that line of oh you know this is art no it's not we can read these lyrics word for word 
like I said, even if you try to take them at their most charitable, their their best interpretation, it is still not good. It is still going to lead to more young men, particularly young black men, being murdered. And nobody's nobody's gonna bat an eye. Like they're they're gonna post about something, and then you're just gonna keep consuming it. You could keep doing the same thing. I hope not. I really hope it does change. I hope that people wake up. They stop supporting music like this. Um, the the same rappers who talk about this in their songs, talking about oh, R R I P my brother and, and all this stuff, and their their Instagram posts, Twitter posts, whatever. Uh, but will it? Will it make a change? I don't think so. I don't. There's there's not there's not enough people with backbones that will stand up for what is right, stand up for morals and principles, and say that we need to change. Like this is. And by the way, when I say people like my people and all this other stuff, I'm particularly talking about Christians. Um, I know a lot of times when people say my people, they're talking about an ethnic group. That's not how I view my people. My people would be Christians. And then aside from that, the second group of that would be human beings. It, way down the line is your ethnicity. You should be proud of it. Everybody should be proud of their ethnicity. Um, like you shouldn't be ashamed of it. It's not something to be ashamed of. But at the same time, you like don't worship it. This is weird, like this collective of thought that in order for me to 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 have something in common with somebody like the the ultimate good the ultimate uh combining quality is a skin color or a culture like no there's there's a lot of things that i can identify with with somebody else so when i'm saying my people this is this is an everybody problem this is not just a black people problem this is an everybody problem because we're talking about human beings so if you are consuming the content and I don't care what you look like, if you're consuming it, uh, I'm going to challenge that. I'm going to tell you it's a bad idea. Like, yes, we, we believe in freedom of speech and all this other stuff. And you also have a freedom of speech in boycotting this product because it's a bad product. That's what I'm calling for. I'm calling for a boycott of funding it, a boycott of listening to the garbage or at the very least, if you're not going to do that, don't just don't post the the stuff about how this was senseless violence because you're a hypocrite. So either continue being a hypocrite or change. Those are the two options right now. There there really is no middle ground on this type of stuff. Those are your two options. You can lie to yourself and say that there are more options than that, but there's not. So if you have a different argument, feel free to write that in the comment section. I'll read through it, but that is my stance on it. There's, I've seen this too many times, turned down too much money. Um, like it, is, it is what it is at this point. Very sad this happened, uh, but it did not have to happen. And if more people spoke up and didn't take the money every day and didn't market this stuff, uh, then it is at least less likely that these problems would continue to happen at the number that they happen in. So hit us up in the comments. Hit that like video if you if you were challenged by this. If you like what I said, if this is maybe the first time you're hearing something like this, hit that like button um, because it's good to hear things that challenge you. And hit that subscribe button to catch up with all our new videos. I'll see you in the next one.